right, welcome back to Marketing Teardown. We are your host, Andrew and Travis. And today we are going to dig into the website of a company called Liquid Death. Um, as a reminder, recap from our previous episode, Liquid Death is a edgy water company. It comes in cans and promises to murder your thirst. So today we're gonna to tear down a bit about their website and how you can actually buy this product uh, online. Travis, what do you got for me? Uh, so right off the bat, this website's super deadly, super liquidy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's got a very solid brand tone, uh, but they put it in the form of a D2C website. You have your two different types of product right at the beginning. Uh, you have your classic CTA top right. That CTA for sure could be better. Um, I completely agree by the way, call to action, hell yes. I'm sure they've tested it. They're smart marketers, but I, I would rather see a buy now, you know, or, or a buy button there rather than a hell yes. But they could have tested that. This could be, you know, iteration number 20. We don't, we don't know yet. Uh, so that's one thing that immediately jumped out to me. And then also uh, you might notice in their navigation. So they have a few things here, uh, shop, merch store, country club, which uh, by the way is where you can go to sell your soul to them uh, <laughs> about page. And then you can uh, summon them and summon us is the, uh, their contact. So uh, obviously they're all really related to this murder your thirst style kind of brand, uh, but there is some ambiguity in there to, to summon us versus contact us. You know, if, I'm, if I want to talk to them, I, I'm not sure if I would know that summon us means contact us. So a few things here that are good, a few things here that I think could maybe improve, be a little bit more clear. Um, that takes us into some of the stats about their website. We pulled their Alexa rank and a little bit about their geography. Uh, as far as who's going to their website. Right now, pretty much just North America. You can see there's a little bit in uh, the UK and it looks like uh, France as well, I believe, but predominantly US and Canada. You, know, you can see down here about 76% US, 3% um, UK, 2% Canada. I mean, I, I don't even think they're shipping outside of North America right now. So this is unsurprising and makes a lot of sense. You know, They launched with the uh, US audience. And um, we pulled a little bit about their, their web marketing stack as well. You can Pause the video if you want to look into this a little bit uh, deeper, but we'll give you the highlights real quick. They're running on Shopify, pretty standard e-commerce setup. Uh, they're running their email through Klaviyo. They're doing a ton of optimization. They've got Hotjar running, Mixpanel, Optimizely. Uh, they've got Bold Commerce, uh, conversion optimization apps installed through Shopify. Uh, honestly, long story short, they, they're marketers. They understand marketing really well. They know what tools and technology to use. They're running ads on all the major platforms, you know, even Pinterest and, and Snap, uh, they, they get it and they have a pretty solid marketing stack. So that takes us into the SEO on their site. Um, ran a quick search on their brand name and you can immediately notice a few things. Uh, they, so they, they actually created a vinyl record a little while back. Uh, they paid a death metal band to record an album, I believe based on uh, one star reviews. Um, so all the lyrics and, and all the songs in the album were one star reviews of their product basically and they pressed it to vinyl and sold it uh, as a vinyl record and you know also on Spotify and whatever Deezer is so it's really interesting because SEO wise they own this you know this snippet on Google as a musical group which I've never seen another brand do that before which is awesome I mean look at this songs going out of business bad marketing reconsider your life choices like that like that's good stuff right there that's just that's just amazing um and then you can see over here one of the interesting things that they're doing right now is they're putting out a lot of video content so uh all of this is on youtube right and that's being pulled up into search results uh right above um the actual you know link results um and below the uh the knowledge questions that are automatically answered in search results. Um, so I expect a lot more from them from the YouTube channel in the future. Very interesting that they're taking this video focus and being video first here. Um, and overall their SEO is pretty solid around their brand, but I do question some of their other choices, their URL right now uh, from one of their pages. I believe this is the, the country club is to uh, sell your soul. And um, it's nice, it's on brands and, and I like it, but I do question if that's the best choice uh, for the URL structure as far as uh, what's going to rank very well. So. Uh, and then as far as their purchasing flow, uh, pretty typical as far as like Shopify purchasing flow, but I am a little disappointed in it to be honest. Uh, hell yes, is kind of a shitty CTA as far as something that uh, a visitor can identify with uh, when they're intending to purchase something. Uh, and then when you go to their product page, uh, still are sparkling. 
I would like, it, there's, there's nothing that tells me on this page that, hey, I should hover over one of these and I should click it. Uh, maybe if the cans are rotating or like a CTA underneath each of the uh, product types, like if there was a button under liquid death's uh, mountain water or a uh, button under liquid death's sparkling, that way I know, hey, yeah. this is where I'm supposed to choose which one I want. Super confusing, a little ambiguous. Uh, and the product looks so good, like this is a good spot to showcase it. Um, and then uh, once you click one of those, it pulls you over to the individual product page where you can decide, okay, do I want, do I want still or sparkling again? Uh, and then you can also decide like, okay, do I want to pay full price or do I want to pay for the fuck Corona special? You can also, uh, they have a subscription model that you can subscribe to. That's pretty sweet. Um, and then they have like a couple of different like pieces for like user generated content at the bottom showing off their Instagram page uh, with tags for liquid death. Um, and then you go out to the next step, which is uh, checkout and payment. Um, one thing I'd really like to see them apply here uh, is Shopify Pay or Apple Pay. Apple Pay is the only way I pretty much buy anything um, when it comes to uh, checkout process. It's super easy. Um, and I guarantee you the drop off rate for Apple Pay and Shopify Pay, Amazon Pay, any, any widget like that is incredible like it, it just absolutely destroys uh we saw that with a couple of clients that we did a couple of years ago uh it worked really really well for them um and especially shopify pay is one thing i'd like to uh, highlight because once you uh once you enter in for shopify pay not only do they sa save your uh your account details for your credit card they also save your shipping details which is huge uh because a lot of times when you're using one of those autofill forms either gets it incorrect it, it uh makes an amalgamation of two different addresses, one that you lived in now, one that you lived in four years ago, switches them up. Uh, sometimes we'll use like a, a saved like business address that you might have. Uh, Shopify pay keeps everything super fast, streamlined super fast. So those are the, uh, those are the suggestions for this purchase flow. Overall, pretty standard, but just a couple of tweaks they can do to make it way better. Um, a couple of things I do want to point out as well. The shipping costs here, you can see 497. They tried to sneak it under the $5 range, but you know, for a, for a $50.99 product, even though I got this little discount here, right here, that's still really expensive. I mean, from the final price, that's basically 25% of, you know, that final price is shipping, which is a lot of money. Um, and then also on that first shop page where you can see both products, I mean, why, why did you make them so big? This cut off on my screen uh, and I have a big screen, right? Like I have a high resolution, rather large screen and still they cut this off. Like, let's get those on the same page. So it's, you know, actually above the fold. <laughs> and I and I know what I'm clicking on. That's you know that's that's huge. So that sounds good for the purchasing flow. Uh, overall, we give them about a seven on the website. Um, I, honestly, for me, a lot of that is being dinged by uh, their their purchasing flow. I think the purchasing flow could use a lot of work and just be a lot better, uh, a lot easier to buy, and uh, a lot more of a of a nice experience going through those different steps. Yeah. One one thing I'd like to point out. Uh, so. We'll always pause these so you can read through them. Uh, but one thing that I put in needs were commerce versus experience, right? So they're very experience focused. Uh, so they're like country club. You're not going to know what that is, but you're going to go and you're going to explore through the page and you're going to experience everything. Same with summon us, right? So they're actually creating like a, a visitor experience rather than, okay, we're going to do the most, uh, most effective things where there, you don't see a lot of uh, long form copy on this website, right? We like to see long form, form copy convert super, super well. We like to see a very clear and concise CTA converts super, super well. So if you're just playing a traffic game where you're trying to convert as many people as you can to the website, that, that's the way to do it. But one thing that we will acknowledge is they're probably going an experience first route, which might yeah. be good. All in all, about a seven. Um, that's the episode. And uh, if you want to contact us, we got a few pluggables we want to plug. I run a company called Optimotive. We help uh, other companies launch and scale new brands, new products, and enter new markets. So you can find me, optimotive.co. And Travis, you got your pluggables? Yeah, uh, my name's Travis Page. I'm head of product over at Cinebody. Uh, Cinebody makes it easy to do video production through the cloud, anybody on earth. Uh, really critical for COVID since video production is essentially illegal right now. You can just uh, create and direct with anybody on earth that has a smartphone. It's super awesome. easy. Awesome. Love it. Cool. Well, that's the episode. Um, we will catch you on the next one where we talk about the positioning of liquid death.